everything slamming it here. Every time. Come on. Oh. 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 Come on, he's going toward the pylons. That might be a mangrove. It might be, but nope, nope, Jack. <laughs> oh, it's two jacks. Two jacks at once. How do you do that? How does that happen? I've never seen that before. You catch two jacks on one hook. They must really be hungry. Look at that. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Saltwater Fishing Tampa. My name is Scott. Today we're out on Tampa Bay. We're going after mangrove snapper. I'm gonna try and hit the flats. Actually, I'm gonna hit the flats over by uh, Cockroach Bay in Port Manatee, like I did in my last video. And uh, we're gonna try for uh, we're gonna try for some trout out there. We're gonna try for some reds in the backwaters. Gonna try that. We'll see if I have time. And uh, Colby are moving into the bay. They're already here, and I've got some pinfish for that. And uh, for the mangroves, I've got my uh, trusty Saragusa 5000 here, spooled with 40 pound J braid, and just using the 3 8 uh, uh, jigs here uh, with a 4 0 hook from uh, Bass Pro on my uh, 20 to 50 pound uh, Shimano Terez rod. Medium fast action. Oh, I just love this rod. Uh, really nice setup here for mangroves and just about anything in Tampa Bay. Some might, you might think it's too heavy, but I, I really like it and I really like this, that uh, the handle. I, it's really a nice rod for me and it balances well. I mean, you can just see that it just balances, just like you know, you want to hold it right here. Just a good feel to this. So we got some uh, live greenbacks here and there's some scaled sardine. Oh, look at the size of that guy. Scaled sardines in here from hooked up live baits. Yep, look at these, look at these lively guys right here. And uh, look at that. Oh, look at the size of these greenbacks here. I know there's some scaled sardines in here. Let's see if we can find a couple. I saw them in here. Because uh, these mangroves, they really like it. There's one right there. You know they die kind of quick. There's a scaled sardine right there. And uh, let me find this. So there's the difference right there, scaled sardine <laughs> and um, and the greenback right there. Oh, these guys are really lively. But, um, and you can cast, cast net these guys under the bridge here too. You can cast net these, but you know, I like to get out here in the morning instead of cast net. I've been having a hard time getting these guys. But anyways, that's greenback and white bait and there's a scaled sardine. So, but these are, these are really killer bait. You can see how the, uh, the the scales come off, but that's what they call them, scaled sardines. So we're going to be going after mangroves, and everything hits these things. Kobe will hit them, gags, mangroves, even got big grunts on these things. <laughs> got 10 dozen shrimp from O'Neill's, and they're running really big today. I keep them in the tall bucket because they really jump. These guys, look at the size of these guys. These are some really big shrimp. These are great for mangroves. Holy smolies, anything will hit these guys. Everything loves a live shrimp. All big guys, look at the size of these things. Holy smolies. <laughs> and here are my uh, flathead jigs here. These look like, uh, let me see, these are uh, half ounce right here I use, and three eighths. It's a uh, slower incoming tide today. And there's the barrel swivels, and here's the uh, fluorocarbon leaders, 25 pound test. And I also have some uh, different 30-pound uh, tests. We'll see. We'll see what happens. And my scissors, I always use these guys. So that's what's on the menu today. We're going after mangroves. We're going after uh, fish on the flats. We're going, you probably get a gag. You, you never know. You never know when you come out. You could have a great day or you could get skunked. So, you know, you never know. That's one of the things about fishing. But, you know, I always say it's all about fishing and having fun. And that's exactly what I do. So I want to thank everybody for showing up today. Hope you enjoy the show. Hope we catch a bunch of fish. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up for a like. And uh, you know what we do next. Let's catch some fish. Well, I'm trying to find some good bottom here out on Tampa Bay today. This is buoy 23, and I just went over a really nice hole. There's the buoy, there's Port Tampa. I'm inside of Tampa Bay. Look at this bottom structure right here. This looks really nice. See that right there? I already have my Rodan in right there, and um, I'm getting ready. Look at that. Oh, that looks really good. I'm just getting ready to um, hit the anchor button. I just want to find some good bottom. Those are my old marks. I'm trying to find some new stuff right in between. I just hit this A for anchor, and that'll hold it. It'll take about, a, a, oh, maybe 15, 20 seconds to calibrate on the GPS, maybe not that long. It'll stay right there. The only time you ever get blown off, if a, a big uh, barge goes by or a cruiser, then, it, then it'll bring you right over the spot. Just got to give it about a half a minute, but it'll bring you right back. Fishing just to see. The tide's coming in, so it'll be going toward the buoy when I drop my bait in. 
Look at this. Oh, I really like this. You always want to find the edge and find some structure. And um, I'm just going to, I think I'm going to try it right here. I'm right on the edge of this stuff right here. There's the red right return buoy there. I'm right here. I'm looking at it right there. Those big tugs really kick up the waves here, but the uh, Mako handles it pretty well. Watch this. Look at that. It just rides right over them. And these are some big rollers. Look at that. <laughs> yep. It's a really stable boat, this Mako 15. I'm really happy with it, but uh, handles those big rollers really nicely. Well, the tide's going in, and that's Port Manatee that way. There's the bollard. I'm going to start out with my 3 8 ounce jig here. It's a slow incoming tide. Hook it like this, just like that. Hook it just like this. That's how I do it. And that's about a 5-foot leader. That's good enough for now. And I have my 40-pound... Um, Jay braid on my uh, Saragusa 5000. There you go. Just going to drop it down right here. I'm right on the edge of the drop off. I adjusted the drag. Yeah, just like that. Maybe a little bit less. Don't want to pull it out of their mouth. Just drop it down. But, and I, I know when I find structure, I'll get snagged on the bottom. But I try to bounce it. And I, oh, look at that. See, see that? It's just tapping already. So, let me just give it some line. Give it some line. Oh, look at that. Oh, come on, come on. Just take it. Take it all the way in. Take it all the way in. Something's got it. Oh, got him. Got him already. Fish on. Oh, this is nice. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, yeah. Come on, guy. Come on, guy. Come on, guy. Come on up. Let's see what we got. Oh, mangrove right off the bat. First drop. Not the biggest mangrove, but you know what? That's the first drop. Look at that guy. He's 10 inches. He's going back. But uh, first drop. So uh, I think there was another guy hitting it down there. Look at that guy. Go on in. But you never know. We'll see. We'll see. I moved closer to the buoy. There it is. Nice mangrove. Oh, not bad. Not bad. Not bad. That's about the fourth or fifth one right there. And just tried to get some size to these guys. And uh, he's about 12 inches. But, uh, you know, that mangrove nonetheless. But uh, we're right by the buoy. I want to get some bigger guys. Here, I moved over by the bridge. Let's just see what we got. Last time I got gags here. Got a jack and oh, it's a nice mangrove. This is a nice mangrove here. Look at that. There's a nice mangrove. Oh, it's about time. <laughs> That's a nice mangrove. Yep, I'll take this guy. Look at that. Got him on a shrimp. He's probably about 13 and a half inches long. That's a nice mangrove. I'll take him any day. <laughs> Come on, guy. Smile for the camera. Beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful 13 inch mangrove. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Better not lose the guy. You know how I always lose him. Let's get a measure on this guy. Put him on the check it stick. There he is. Up 13 inches. Beautiful guy. <laughs> Gotta be careful. I don't want him jumping out. Well, at least a little over 13 inches, but beautiful mangrove. So uh, look at that guy. Let's get another. I think it's another mangrove. The second drop here. And this guy's really fighting here. Look at this. Come on. Let's get this. He might be a jack, but you never. It's a big jack. Look at that. See it? <laughs> there, oh, look at all the jacks down there. Holy cow, there's a ton of them. They're all down there. There's schools up down there. Look at that. So I'm going to put a green back on. Maybe it'll stop the jacks from biting, but uh, that's what's down here, too. They're fighting. It's, everybody's fighting for uh, getting food here. So let's get this guy off. I have a green back on here. I just can't tell if it's a jack or a mangrove slamming these or a gag. Look at that. Look at that. Come on. Oh, got something. I think this is another jack. That's what I think it is. But no, oh, he's, he's pulling pretty good. I'm wondering what this guy is. Let's just see. It's and it's it's another jack. Look at that. There's a ton of them out here. Look at that guy. Look at him going in circles like that. Another jack, and he's hitting greenbacks too. Mangrove, but it might be another jack. Oh, and it's a mangrove. I can get him in. Holy cow! <laughs> the dolphin got one of the jacks, but the. You know, if I can get close enough to the to the columns here, I, I can get these mangroves out of here. But that dolphin's coming by, so. But you know, I, I'm just gonna stick it out. I got two here already, but uh, gotta keep trying. I'm right here by where the columns meet the uh, the square columns on the South Skyway up here. And there's mangroves down here, and there's a lot of jacks, but the darn dolphins here now. And I got two mangroves in about 10 minutes, but uh, I got to fight the dolphin. There's other boats out here. There's the uh, South Skyway Fishing Pier. But um, I'm trying to 
Trying to get some mangroves here. So I gotta watch that dolphin. And the jacks. There's a lot of boats coming around here. You got a boat out there. You got two boats over there. I'm just gonna toss this down right here. Let's see what we can't get. Just bounced it right off that wall. I wanna get a mangrove. There's mangroves down here. I've been chumming them up with the dead uh, greenbacks. Let's just see what happens. Gotta be fast here. I, you know, the mangroves are here, the jacks are here, the dolphins here, fishermen are here, everything's here. Look up, there's another one. I think this, this, this is a, probably a jack. Oh, no, wait, might be a mangrove. It's a mangrove, see, I finally got, you gotta get past the jacks. You gotta get past the jacks, you gotta get past the, the dolphin, and get the mangroves. So this is the third one in about uh, 15 minutes, but uh, I'm happy, he's about 12 and a half inches long, but uh, not a bad fish. Oh, uh, look at the shrimp tentacle sticking out of his mouth. Look at that hungry guy. We gotta get him uh, before that dolphin comes back. And um, I gotta get ready. It's either jacks or the, uh, or the mangroves. You know we want the mangroves, so I just have to get ready here. Everybody's hungry today. Oh, something's got, oh, I think this is a mangrove here too. I think this is a mangrove. Gotta get him in, gotta get him in. Gotta get him in, it is a mangrove, see that? <laughs> you gotta get these guys in, you gotta be fast here. Holy smoly, oh, this is fun. <laughs> Another mangrove. And I tell you, <laughs> you gotta be fast. Like I said, I like the stripes on these guys right there. So, uh, well, the mangroves are here, so they weren't out in the channel, but they're right by the bridge. It's noisy here, but the fish are here. Well, I switched to a half ounce jig and 30 pound leader because it's getting afraid right up against that uh, those columns there. So when I saw the dolphin going away, let's let's try it again. Let's see see if we can't pull another mangrove out of here. Oh, come on, come on, something's got it. Come on, come on, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Got him. Got to be fast about this. Got to be fast. This is a nice mangrove. Got to get him. Got to get him up. There he is. There he is. Nice mangrove. Holy cow. Yes, and you gotta be fast about this. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, another nice 12 incher. I like that. And I tell you, I switched to a half ounce jig and 30 pound uh, liter because I was getting frayed on that on the barnacles there. But uh, mangrove after mangrove here now. Man, I tell you, this is fun. Back to the bridge. I'm hoping this is a mangrove. It feels like a mangrove, not a jack. But no, it's a jack. It's a jack. It's another jack, look at that, and there's other jacks following it too. No way, I want a mangrove, come on! Oh, something hit this, I wonder if it's a jack? Another big jack, boy, I tell you, I think I had a mangrove on and it got off and a jack hit it. Ha, <laughs> for Pete's sake, unbelievable. Let's put a nice big shrimp on for this guy. There's gotta be a ton of them. Oh, I wanna get it right in there, right down in there. In fact, I think I can see the mangroves down there. <laughs> Come on, guys. Let's, let's pull one out of here. There we go. There you go. I think this is a mangrove because he's going toward the column. That's what it is. It's a mangrove. He's going toward the column. Look at that guy. Nice mangrove. <laughs> there, we, there we go. <laughs> they head toward the columns. And this is a nice mangrove here. That's a nice mangrove right there. He's good 13 inches. He was heading straight for those columns right there. The jacks come this way and the mangroves go that way. So I'm gonna continue fishing here. Nice mangrove. Let's get another. I'm just dropping straight down here. I have the road end going, keeping me right here. I'm dropping straight down. This is where they're at, the mangroves. Nice ones too, 13 inches, 12, 13 inches. There's a lot of them down here. Come on, guys! Look at look at another one's got it. Come on, come on! Take it, take it, take it, take it! Got him! Oh, this is a nice one here! Come on, guy! Come on up! Come on up, Mr. Mangrove! Oh no, it's it's a jack! Holy cow! Prove me wrong! Prove me wrong! It's either a mangrove or a jack coming out of here, but definitely something's gonna be coming out of here. Everything's slamming in here. Come on! I haven't gotten a gag yet. Look at this! Oh, oh. Come on, he's going toward the pylons. That might be a mangrove. It might be, but nope, nope. Another stupid jack. <laughs> oh, it's two jacks. Two jacks at once. How do you do that? How does that happen? I've never seen that before. You catch two jacks on one hook. They must really be hungry. Look at that. <laughs> I've never seen that before. 
That's unbelievable. Come on. Look at that. Two jacks on the same hook. That's just incredible. I think that's the first right there. Let's get a picture of these guys. Two jacks on the same hook. What, are, what the heck? <laughs> well, they made a mess of my boat. So let's get the first one off. Get this guy off. <laughs> Go on in and get the second one off. What a mess. Man, I tell you, they really must be hungry. Go on in. Holy smolies. One hits. I didn't even have the camera on. And I got a nice mangrove. I mean, look at the guys right there. I just got that guy. I didn't even have the camera on. I just can't can't uh, bait this fast enough and, and put it on. And <laughs> no matter what I do, they're just slamming it right here. They're just slamming it. Come on, I gotta get ready. Let's see what's gonna happen here now. Come on, look at something's got it already. Come on, come on, something's got it. Oh, again, I think this was just a jack though, but you never know. Oh, it's another mangrove. Look at that, holy smolies. <laughs> mangrove after mangrove here. This is a, this is a, Amazing day! Look at this, it's mangrove! Three mangroves within five minutes, a double jack, and uh, <laughs> that's amazing. What a day! What a day! Now that's what you call fishing and having fun right there, catching a whole bunch of mangroves. Look at these guys! Holy smolies! Oh, oh jeez! Holy cow! There's enough mangroves here. Just one after the other right here. There's the South Skyway Fishing Pier. And here's where the, the tall columns come in. And here's where the square ones start. And this is the second week in a row I slammed them right here. Just amazing. What a great day on Tampa, oh, man. Just dropping it down, just like this right there. Right there, just letting it hit bottom. Man, Grover Jack. Come on, take it. <laughs> oh, which I it might be a mangrove. He's going right toward the rock. See it? When they do that, that's a mangrove. <laughs> That's the mangrove when they go right toward the rocks. Beautiful looking guy. Man, I tell you. <laughs> Come on, guys. Settle down. You're going back. Don't worry. He's a nice 12 incher, but uh, he's going right back in. There you go. Look at him right down there. I tell you what, we had another great day today catching big grunts like this and mangroves like this. I tell you what, I can't even hold all these guys up. But... Yeah, they were all like this. They're all 12 and a half, 13 inch mangroves, just like this. And and they were just, they were just schooling. And they were schooling with the jacks. I mean, there were so many of them. I did, you know, I just, oh, well, what a great time though. I mean, it was one after the other. It was either getting the mangroves or I was getting the jacks. Get the mangroves, get the jacks. I'll show you the jacks. Uh, nothing but mangroves and jacks the whole day. <laughs> I didn't even go out to the flats. I had such a good time catching these guys. And uh, the wind just started picking up again, but uh, I had a great time catching these guys. There were, there were so many of them underneath the bridge there, and that's on the uh, uh, the south side of the uh, the Skyway, right under I-75. One after the other of these guys. I mean, just a great time. I enjoyed it. I had a great time on Tampa Bay. I tell you what, that's what I got. Look at the size of this grunt right here. I mean, this guy, he's 14 and a half inches long. He's bigger than the mangroves. I was getting jacks. I must have caught 20 or 30 of these. I caught two in a row. <laughs> two on the same hook in this these size mangroves. There wasn't much in the channel. I got a couple and I threw them back out there. But other than that, um, look at these nice mangroves. I mean, really good eat. One, two, three, four, five. Got to make sure you're only allowed five of the guys. And nice size grub. But my wife said, oh, we're going to have a, uh, a fish fry this Sunday. She said, so uh, get some fish. And I said, well, if it's up to them if they cooperated. And they certainly did. So there you go. That's what you call fishing and having fun and catching a cooler full of fish. Man, I tell you what, I'm pretty happy about that. Look at those guys. Just beautiful. Nice mangroves. Really love that. Well, I hope you enjoyed the show as much as I had fun fishing. So <laughs> I had a great time on Tampa Bay. You know I always do. So don't forget to give me a thumbs up for a like. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Until next time, this is Scott with Saltwater Fishing Tampa. Happy fishing.